And now we're going to turn overseas where Palestinian leaders are promising to appeal a U.S. federal court decision that held that the PLO and the Palestinian Authority, they were liable for terror attacks in Israel. The six terror attacks, they occurred between 2002 to 2004, and they left several Americans either dead or injured. Manhattan jury awarded millions of dollars in damages. This is, this is a great day for, for our country. It's a great day for those who fight terror. Um, we're so proud of our families who stood up, and uh, we're so impressed with how seriously the jury took their job. It's really, uh, really amazing, very humbling. Palestinian officials say that the court does not have jurisdiction that the Palestinian government did not order or fund the attacks. They also say they don't have the money to pay the damages, which could put a huge dent in uh, the uh, actual budget um, of the Palestinian Authority. All right, Mark, I, I read into this. There seemed to be a very clear thread here um, that there was a connection from both the Palestinian Authority and the PLO in the funding, let alone aiding and abetting this. But well, I have a different question. Yasser quest. Arafat let, the proof showed that Yasser Arafat let one of them out, yep. and five minutes, uh, five weeks later, he was committing terror attacks in Israel, and this is the Nobel Prize winner. So let's just, let's just for this conversation agree right. that uh, the jury right. uh, came to the right conclusion. Right. I have a separate question. What if another country, what if there's a court in Moscow um, or in uh, uh, Shanghai or something, that they're not fond of America here, but they decide on their own that they're going to hold the U.S. Uh, culpable here for attacks, whether or not we think it's just or not, and they'll freeze U.S. assets overseas. Is there a legitimate point to be saying, what are we doing trying and then having a, a model where we will triple the penalty in a particular case like this on top of what the jury awarded that they're now liable for and will freeze funds? Well, that's a matter for the, the International Criminal Court, and that's why we won't join it because we don't think we'll get processed by the ICC or processed in those countries. But what, we, what you have to understand is this statute under which uh, the Palestinians were tried permits even broader liability than what was imposed here. The victims here are Americans abroad. This statute goes farther than that and gives the federal courts jurisdiction to try any uh, victim of terror anywhere around the world. But so this but is I'm an easy case. I'm just saying case. now, there's a, let's say there's a statute, a statute coming out in, uh, in Russia and, and they have their own statute and that they've had their own penalty phase and their own modeling. Would we, as, would be, we be comfortable as well, basically, making a decision in a New York here's, court here's about gonna, something here's that what's happened happen here. Here's what's going to happen here. The PLO and the PA are going to bring a suit in the United States uh, accusing Israel of war crimes, terroristic war crimes, and they're going to say Israel did the same thing in the various conflicts that they're in. The difference is that we have in this country a very specific and narrow definition of what constitutes terrorism. It has to be coercive and intimidating tactics against a civilian population to retaliate against or change a government policy. I think so it'll never work. We're going to have other issues, and the other issues are, number one, I think that it's important that we should be a member of the International Criminal Court. Israel should be as well. You want every country to be well, a I member. Don't, I don't agree with that. Well, I, I, my, my opinion is you want every country to have a standard that you can live by, and we can work to change that standard to make sure that it's something that's acceptable. But they won't. But I Iran, don't think Iran it, if I can, Mark, heads Mark, off in Mark, the if I can finish. I think that it's important for us to have uh, a, a tribunal that the rest of the world can trust, because right now, I mean, we, it's, it's certainly uh, crystal clear that from time to time we kill people that we don't intend to kill, and a wedding party happens to be the site of the missile, and it's, it's uncontroverted that it's from us. There can be indictments against our, our elected officials a, a, all over the world, and uh, I don't know that you don't want to have a say or, or at but least be able to play be a role in that. because we have too much political clout yeah. for that to Well, but that's, and, a, that's and today, but that guys, can change. Again. I, I, we could keep going with this one. Great job, you, you two tonight here, and I enjoyed you grilling. Next you get week, to, me and you get to uh, fire the questions ICC. away That's at these guys. guys. For it. Definitely. <laughs> when we come back, everybody, we're going to take a look at headlines, breaking news in the Valley. See what's.